I'm here today in Fort Stevens Park on the Oregon coast. And this is here behind me, the site of the shipwreck of Peter Iredale. This is what's left of the Peter Iredale. And this has been here for over a hundred years. I believe the ship was constructed around 1890 and uh, it was shipwrecked in 1906. It is one of the few, maybe the only left, I'm not entirely sure, um, of what's known as the Graveyard of the Pacific. The mouth of the Columbia River is a pretty treacherous place to uh, maneuver a ship through. And while navigation is a little bit easier now, back, you know, 100 years ago, there were many, many shipwrecks. There's a whole museum, a maritime museum in Astoria that um, details a lot of the different shipwrecks and just kind of how treacherous it was, especially, um, you know, 100 years ago to navigate a ship through these waters. It's just weird too. I've been coming to this beach since I was a kid even in the last, you know, 25, 30 years, it's amazing how much less there is of this ship even than then. Um, but yeah, if you look up pictures of like the 60s, like there was almost a complete ship, like you can see just tiny, tiny remnants now. The last time I was here, the tide was uh, in, so I'm excited that we can actually come up to it, get a close look at all the barnacles all over it. It's just insane that this has been sitting here on this beach for 110 plus years. This is so cool. I can't remember the last time I actually got to come out to this like this. I don't remember the last time the tide was out so far. I wonder if the uh, tide bent that. Must have. just incredible. It's just so interesting to get a close-up look of this. Like, look at all those like bolts and stuff. They're not? What are they? Rivets. Rivets are different from bolts in some fashion. I wouldn't know that, but he does. <laughs> No, it is kind of weird because like the way to get back down is kind of in the water still a little. This may not have survived the mouth of the Columbia, but it is amazing that it's survived this beach as long as it has. I'm the queen of the world! What is that, do you think? Oh. It's so cool. It is really interesting because the last, at least the last couple times I was here, this was all, um, the tide was in, it was underwater. And I don't think I realized there was so much left uh, above sand. But yeah, it goes all the way back out to there. It's crazy. What a huge ship this would have been. It is really cool that so much of it still exists though. I mean, you know, another hundred years there won't be anything left. I wonder what this would have been, but it seems to be the very back end of the shipwreck. What a huge ship this was. A hundred and, what, thirteen years later, this is all that remains. So, so crazy, so cool. I don't really know a lot about what the ship did or any of the real history of it. Um, I just know that like so many other ships um, in that time frame, it, it was wrecked <laughs> and it's one of the only ones that you can still visit. So it's very, very neat to see in person. It's also weird to see over the years how much it's deteriorated. So thanks for coming along with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.